And welcome back to Bayou Time as HTV went down Pointe-a-Champ to the Wounded Warrior Fishing Rodeo, as we do each and every year. And there we talk with a few people that help put it on each year and a few of the Wounded Warriors that were there. Uh, let's see what they had to say about the rodeo and the fishing in the area. We are putting on a fabulous rodeo. We've been in existence right now with this rodeo for 13 years, our 13th year. And you can turn around and look at all the stuff that the gentleman here is filming and see the joy, joy on these veterans' lives. They love Homer, Louisiana. You know, I can thank, go on and thank and thank and thank people, but I want to thank all of Terrebonne Parish for helping us out to put this event on. Also, I want to thank, I want to thank Martin Foss and his staff for coming down here and taking interest because these guys love veterans just like I love veterans. I think from now on, we've been doing it, like I said, 13 years. As long as I can go, and I figure I got another 20 years, you're going to laugh at that. But anyway, we want to keep this thing going because I think this is one of the nicest things in Terrebonne Parish we do. We have all kind of things we do in Terrebonne Parish. We bring veterans from all over the United States down here to have a fishing tournament in Pornish and Louisiana and show them our southern style of living down here. I want to thank everybody that's down here today. Thank you all. Uh, man, this is just great. Uh, the, the people of Terrebonne Parish, the Wounded Warrior Project, every, everybody involved is just, the hospitality is just unreal. Uh, it's so special to get out here with other veterans and just people in general and be able to fish and be with nature and just just not take anything for granted. It's just a, a special place down here. It's very peaceful. Uh, well, this is my, uh, I've been before, but, uh, you know, I've been a part of Wounded Warrior Project and they put it on their website and then uh, I put in for it and then they contact you and let you know you've been selected. So um, it's a good thing and it's just a great event because of the hospitality and the, the food and just everything that goes into it. We did. We caught, we actually caught a lot of fish. We probably caught uh, 50 or 60 uh, speckled trout. Uh, we kept 10. They were over 12 inches. So, uh, you know, they were over the, the uh, had to be over 12. So we, we threw a lot back, but it was fun, man. Uh, anytime you catch fish and just be outdoors, it's great, especially with uh, my fellow veterans. So. Uh, I served in the Army uh, from 1992 all the way up uh, to about 2013. Uh, and I served in Afghanistan. Uh, in uh, 08, 09. Today is about celebrating our warriors, our veterans uh, that have uh, gone above and beyond and sacrificed everything for us. And uh, we're just here to celebrate them today. Uh, just, it was just something that we wanted to do. Uh, uh, Tim Fungi, uh, uh, a dear friend of mine, he's, he's my, like my brother. Uh, he has been doing this for many years and we just kind of migrated over here and uh, we've got a real nice facility it's really comfortable easy to walk around easy to get around uh, some of the veterans might be disabled and uh, so uh, it's a it's a real nice facility and it allows them to come and just relax and enjoy themselves and uh, I think this is the biggest year I think uh, they said we had 50 uh, 67 veterans or close to 70 veterans. Uh, that came out. Uh, we had 30, roughly 30 boats. Uh, these are privately owned boats that people just donate their time, donate their boat, and donate their experience uh, to take these guys fishing, guys and gals fishing. It would be real easy to get veterans from this local area. Uh, we do have some from the area, but a lot of them come from Minnesota, from Ohio, all over the United States, and they come and they have a chance to uh, experience South Terrebonne and, and uh, experience our marsh and our hospitality. I want to thank the veterans for what they do. Uh, my son is currently in the United States Navy, and uh, so I, I miss him when he's gone, but uh, I can appreciate the things that he's doing and, and the sacrifices he's making to, uh, to make our lives uh, free. So uh, all, all this is for, for the veterans. Every bit of it's for them. Well, uh, me and a partner of mine, we come every year that we get invited down. We've been coming now for the past seven, eight years. Uh, today wasn't, we caught about, I don't know, 35, 40 specs, but none of them really had any size to them. We kept only four. Uh, not yet, because I'm just now, mine hasn't been weighed or anything yet, but it, it's, it's, it's big. It's almost as tall as me, like it comes down to here. 
It's pretty big. Um, now I just love the Wounded Warrior Project, and when you get add fishing into it, it just makes it that much better. Like this, is my third fishing trip in a month, so I've caught stingray and shark and black drum and all kinds of fish. I want you all to look over here. He's got the cameras rolling around on the fish that's coming in. I want to thank these fish cleaners down here. They volunteer the time. Mr. Ronnie Lasetto and Timmy Fongi. They are cleaning fish like. Every five seconds, they got a fish in the box for us. Then I want to come over here and I want to talk about all the food. I want to thank Miss Dana for bringing the food together. They were here last year and unfortunately, miscommunications with our organization and things that happened, we didn't have enough food for everybody. So they volunteered a service this year and went out and raised their own money to do this and I want to thank these people underneath of that tent for the food that they got. They got more food here today than we'll ever eat. And, and I just say that, I can't thank them enough from my heart for what they're doing down there, especially the fish cleaners down here, the captains that went out on the boats, they took their own time to come down here and do this. And the captains are smiling like you've never seen before because they love veterans and they love to do this with veterans. And I will say right now, I will go on TV in another week and I will tell you the same thing on the program we got on TV, okay? So I want to thank the public for listening to what I have to say. Thank you all.